Our latest research shows um, global sales over 5% um, and retail sales have steadily maintained that, that trade for the last three years. Uh, we see steady improvement. However, it's interesting to know that consumer behavior has significantly shifted over the last five years since the recession, particularly in developed markets. Uh, within North America, Western Europe and Australasia, it's interesting to note that discount is actually the best performing grocery channel as consumers are looking to save some money. Uh, at the same time, non-grocery retailers are, are also uh, under threat, particularly from the very, very rapid growth of internet retailing. Uh, despite the fact that non-grocery has rebounded quite significantly from the downturn, um, still uh, non-grocery retailers are uh, facing a challenging environment as well. Generally, retailers overall are being pressured from uh, both ends, particularly the retailers um, which have mid-price positioning, as um, uh, low-price positioned retailers have overperformed the market. And at the same time, at the higher end of the spectrum, um, some of the uh, premium retailers, niche retailers, are performing really well as well. In this sense, uh, retailers are significantly under pressure uh, to balance their investment wisely and to respond to the very demanding consumer, which is expecting good value for money um, at the same time, not compromise for the quality that they're. Shrinkage is a multidimensional threat for retailers across the globe with employee theft and shoplifting, including organized crime on the rise. Growing shrinkage concerns have put loss prevention high on the agenda of retailers. Across the 16 research countries, shrinkage rates remain between 1% and 1.6%. Both Brazil and Mexico record the highest shrinkage rates with 1.6%, and Japan and Germany belong to the countries with the lowest shrinkage rate, recording 1% and 1.1% respectively. While globally shrinkage is increasing, there have been some exceptions, with many UK and German retailers stating that improving loss prevention methods helped to keep shrinkage under control. A combination of different loss prevention measures is usually considered the most effective way of tackling losses. A company-wide strong shrink prevention culture is necessary. Utilizing EAS solutions like hard tags, having a strong internal team, as well as working with a third party specialist. None of the interviewed and surveyed retailers reported plans to decrease their spending in loss prevention. In fact, the majority plan on increasing their spending.